guys, today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the GT Guard Hawkeye, doesn't say Hawkeye here, but that does when you turn it on, AI-15 Thermo, Thermal Monocular, Thermal. So first thing I want to explain to this, uh, people should know what it is, but if you don't, it means it's picking up heat signatures. If you're getting it, expecting to have it like a camera, it's not going to be like a camera. It's really good for hunting, bird watching, stuff like that. It helps you pick up the thermal heat related images of houses, cars, anything like that. We're going to show you a few like bird watching, uh, cars, stuff like that. And it's going to pick up a heat registered signature for those. So basically, if you were out hunting and you didn't know where the deer were, you can use this to pick up their heat to see where they're at, or birds, whatever. Or if you're bird watching, it'll tell you where they're at. So it comes in a sleeve like this, and you will push it, and it will come through like this. I try not to damage my sleeve. It has the app on the back. You can scan these to download the different apps. So you might need one of those apps to download your footage. So it comes in a really nice clamshell case. The case that I took it out of is also a hard cardboard, so it's really well protected. When you open this clamshell, you're going to notice it has a nice rubber handle, has a nice plastic coating on your zipper. It has a lot of foam here and also here. They did a really good job making sure they keep this protected. Your directions, instructions are in several different languages. See there, it does tell you it's the Hawkeye. And it has a protective case. This case is supposed to be waterproof. I did not get it wet to test it. I'm just telling you that it's advertised as waterproof. Feels like it could be, but I'm not going to get it wet to test it. It comes with a cleaning cloth so that you do not damage the lens on your monocular. You don't want to scratch it up. It comes with a handle, and it comes with a USB to C cord. So the way you're going to do the USB to C comes in for two functions. One, you're going to hook it up in here. It charges it, of course. That's the first function. But this does come with a 32 gig uh, hard drive. So it's an internal hard drive. You cannot remove the, the, the disk. So when you want to transfer your files, because this takes pictures and video, when you want to uh, transfer your files, you have to hook this up to a computer directly. You cannot pull a card out of it. It's forever... You have the monocular is covered with a lens cap. It's rubber, it's removable, and it's attached. You can remove it, but I don't know why you'd want to because it keeps it right there so you do not scratch your lens. There's adjustments here made with the lens. Then back in the back, you can also make adjustments here. Your monocular is uh, got a nice rubber seal, so it seals up against your eye just fine and it will not hurt you at all. You have four different functions. This is on and off. When you turn it on, you'll hold it for a few seconds. You'll let off. It'll come on and say GT Guard starting up. When you're done and you turn it off, it gives you a countdown. Shutting down, three, two, one. This is for your zoom in and out. So it zooms up to eight times. One is times one. Two is times two. Three is times four. Four is times eight, and you're letting do it again. It takes you back to your original setting. This is for several different adjustments. You can adjust uh, what uh, mode you're in. It picks just different things like that. You'll have to work with it to get used to it because there's quite a few adjustments you can do. And this is to take your video or take your pictures. So record two different things. You can, of course, attach it to a tripod with that which when I made my video footage, that's what I used, a tripod with the camera right up against the monocular so that I could get my footage, have one hand on the camera and one hand on the uh, monocular making the adjustments. So it does attach to the tripod. If you want to use this piece here so that you do not drop it, wrap it around your wrist. It's just a quick screw it on. Then you'll just put it on your hand, wrist like this so that when you're out, you will not lose your monocular. Weighs approximately one to two pounds. It's not heavy at all. It is solidly built. Actually, for small as it is, it's uh, actually pretty solid. So they did a really good job as far as that. I like the uh, cover there as well. Just have to remember to take it off. And uh, if you want to use, I'm not sure if it picks up sound or not, 
So you may need to hook a microphone up here because I don't believe it does pick up sound. But you can get a secondary microphone that attaches here and hooks up there if it does not pick up sound. In order to use your tripod, you're just going to twist it on here until you get it locked into position. And then you can use it and adjust it up and down as you need to. So that's a really neat feature as well. That way if you're just, like I said, out hunting and you're watching for something, you don't have to sit there and constantly hold it. You can just peep through here every now and then. Now, if you can see inside of there, it uh, is showing you different languages that you can set this up in. Location scenarios that are preset. Uh, you see there's bird watching, normal, city, offline, rainforest, and then just your infrared or uh, heat signature. So it has all these different features. That's one thing that's really cool about this. Another cool thing, another cool thing about this is the uh, recognition distance. Uh, so like if you're looking at a bird, uh, the detection distance is going to be 177 meters. Uh, the recognition will be about 45. And if you go down through here and you look all the way down to human, uh, it's going to recognize a human detection about 100 and 1,500 feet. And it'll actually recognize uh, distances of the human about 375 meters. It's five modes uh, for um, different recognitions. There's white hot, black hot iron hot green hot and then of course red hot and those are the five different modes you can go through to see it in we'll set it up in like bird watching mode you can go through all these different uh there's green hot red hot black hot white hot so now i have it going here and you'll see as the cars go by uh it's picking up the signal the different settings i can set it to different modes. You can see here's green light. You see the cars go by. There's white. So you just keep can adjust these in several different ways to get it. Then you can also zoom up to eight times. It picks up different things. So it's just a matter of getting used to it. See the car goes by. This also has a laser on the front. So when you're looking at something, it'll pick it up. So right now there is green light. So as the cars go by, it picks them up. Here is your camera and your video. You'll see the laser go by and it will pick up the cars. Two times zoom, four times eight. You go to your green light, all your different ones, settings. And you'll see my camera is trying to automatically adjust for it. And then the cars will go by. But basically you're just gonna to have to work with this and get used to it. And then when you hold this, it'll shut down. It tells you when it's shutting down. And you'll use that. You're just going to have to get used to running it yourself. But it picks up the different heat signatures of things like it is right here. So that's the main idea of this. But if you hold down on your menu button, you're going to see it brings up all these different options. And as you keep pushing... One of those is Wi-Fi. So you can set up the Wi-Fi to uh, use this, and then it will actually play through your phone. So that's another neat option of it. And then as you move through here, you're going to see super resolution, exit accessories, set up your different functions, your systems, your time, any images you may have recorded, laser calibration because of the laser we showed you on the front, transparency, all these different things, you uh, do your menu button to uh, set it up, and then your zoom button to adjust through the different settings. So, so you can have picture-in-picture, picture, color wrap, scene mode. This has a lot of different things that you can adjust on here. It's just a matter of messing with it and making the adjustment yourself. So again here, we're recording heat signatures. You see the heat signature of that car as it's backing out of the garage. The car just went by. You see a little green dot. That is actually my uh, laser telling me different things. See the cars going by. Change the mode. Let's zoom it. I zoom too much. Go back down to normal. So there's a really clear picture. Uh, this is thermal. So we'll go to a different setting. White hot, black hot. Different settings here as I'm flipping through it. There's somebody coming out of their car. 
picking them up on the thermal imaging and back to blue. So we're seeing here different things. Car will go by. You saw the red heat that it red was actually heat from somebody's tire as they went by. It just picks up real cool thermal image. See, I have it mounted to the tripod here. Basically the same area that you would hook this up if you wanted to use this to carry it around your wrist. I got my tripod hooked up. So I was using it outside testing it. Something I found out that's really cool about this is I was trying to do it through a window because it's very cold outside and I kept seeing my hands. This actually picks up the reflection from your window of your hands. It'll pick up your hands in the heat signature. So I had to go outside. That's why I mounted it because I needed one hand free for the camera, one hand for the monocular to make the adjustments. But it picks up your shadows on windows and mirrors. So that's kind of neat. I thought that was kind of cool. Down here, there's a little dot. That little dot right there is a laser. So when you're pointing it at something, you will see a laser. You'll see a green crosshairs inside of the camera. That's actually where this laser is trying to pick up for you, catch different things. This will zoom between one and eight times. It'll go one, two times, four times, and eight times. So it'll pick up to eight distance away. It's a matter of just getting used to adjusting it here, here, and then using your different adjustments. Remember, this is a thermo monocular. So it's not going to be a camera. It's not going to be a video camera. It's picking up heat signatures. So when you're out there and you're using it, don't think you're going to see a crystal clear picture of a house. It's picking up the heat signatures of the house, heat signatures of things going by. Uh, mainly, it's really good for like hunting and stuff like that. If you're out at nighttime and it's dark, this is going to pick up the heat signatures of the animals. Uh, and you'll know where they're at. It's also good for bird watching because you can set it up in a bird thing of the different modes that you can set it up will add to that. And But basically, this is a monocular that's thermal. So... It's a really nice setup, so it's lightweight. It's got this really nice suction cup, so you can put it right up against your eye. It doesn't hurt. So when you're turning it on, you're just basically going to push this button. It'll tell you that it's coming on. It'll say GT Guard as it's coming on. GT Guard Hawkeye. That's what it said. So you're going to have to just basically work with it to get used to the adjustments because there are several different modes, several different types. When you push this button, you can pick your different kinds of uh, heats. You can get heat signature that's red, heat signature that's green, iron, green, white, and black hot. Those are your five different: red, iron, green, white, and black hot. So it's picking up the heat. Tell you that it's shutting down and how long to wait. And this is your camera in your video mode, which. I did not use that and hook it up to the computer the way I did mine. I saw put my camera directly against the monocle and went through and recorded that way. But there is a way to hook it to your computer and download it. So your instructions are fairly simple. Multiple languages. And there is a thing to scan here for the app. else that's attached here is this laser function. So if you see, I can block it off with my hand. The laser, whatever you're trying to look at, you can turn the laser on and you'll know exactly where you're at, what you're trying to look at from where the laser is. You'll see that dot. You'll say, okay, that's where I'm looking. So if I want to look at where the monocular would be, it would be up here. That's another function that's on this is a laser to help you find where you're at. So the final wrap up on this, I uh, just want to point out again that you're you're picking up heat signatures. You can make them white, black, green, red, iron, whatever color you want, but you're picking up heat signatures. It helps you distinguish things. Um, it will pick up a heat signature of like a human from 1,500 uh, meters, but it won't distinguish that it's a human until it's like 300 and something. So it's going to pick, pick up a heat signature from far away, but it won't tell you or zoom in on what it actually is to get a little closer. So it's good for that. It's good for hunting, stuff like that. Um, it does download anything you record to a computer, but to do that, you have to download the app. So you, you're going to hook this up, because it does have an internal memory, to your computer through the app. You have to download the app to access the videos and pictures that you have. 
It's lightweight. It's easy to carry. Uh, it does what it's supposed to do. does a really good job of picking up heat signatures. Uh, you're going to have to work with it a lot because there's a lot of different things on the menu. You can hook up Wi-Fi. Uh, just a lot of different things you can do with it. Can't really go through all those features in a video. You have to learn to do it yourself. But it's cool as far as you know, pick up heat signatures. We tried to show you several different instances of doing that. Really like this device for what it's supposed to do. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. Thermal imaging. Um, I definitely, if you want something that for hunting, bird watching, that you use thermo, th thermal imaging on, this is what you want. And it's, uh, it's the GT Guard Hawkeye. It's really good. I definitely would recommend it if you like thermal imaging.